Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about Follow Me. So, I've said before, Follow Me is probably one of my favorite tools in SketchUp, just because what it does is so cool, and the geometry you can create with it is just unlike anything you can do with any other tool in SketchUp. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hop in and we're going to talk about how to use it. Let's go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the different input methods, but we're also gonna see the different kind of geometry you can create. So I'm gonna start with my pencil in just draw mode. So something, this is gonna happen. Sooner or later, you're gonna try this. You're gonna get some information. And it, what Follow Me does is it lets you take a face and extrude that face along a path. So in this case, this example, I wanna take the square and have the square extrude around the circle. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go grab Follow Me. Follow Me is not part of the default toolbar. You do have to hit the ellipse down at the bottom and choose Follow Me to start it. Uh, and what's going to happen is you're going to come in and you're going to click on this face and then you're going to try to do this thing where you drag it around and it's going to jump and all this stuff's going to happen. It's going to flicker and not good. Not, not, a good, not a good thing. It's not how it's supposed to work. You can do that. You can click Follow Me and then very carefully drag your pencil along the path you want it to, to run around. This is possible. This is, I don't wanna call it painful, but it's not easy to do. And you're gonna, nine times out of 10, you're gonna end up with some kind of problem like this. See, that didn't close right. So let's talk about the right way to do it. The right way to do it is to pre-select your path. Pick your path before you hit the follow me command. So in this case, I'm gonna hit select and I'm gonna pick my circle right there. Now, now that that's highlighted, it's lit up, now I'll hit follow me. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna swipe my pencil right over the top of the face that I want to have follow that path like that. And there we go. Now I have a super big chunky washer. And that is how I made it. All right, let's pan over here. Let's do this again. Let's, uh, let's, let's see what happens when we move into click, move, click. In this case, I have a path that's actually four pieces. So when I go to select, I don't want to just pick one. I want to, I'll triple click and get all the connected edges. Same thing here. I'm going to say, follow me. And I'm going to come in here and I'll do the same thing. I'll just kind of hard press and then it picks that edge. And there we go. Now I got, I don't even know what to call this shape. This is a, uh, I don't know, a dough picture frame. Uh, but yeah, but you see that circle followed, followed the hard edges. Uh, so just long press on the face. There we go. All right, so we're following paths here, but there is something else you can do with follow me that's pretty cool. And that is sort of a, a lathed shape. So I can take my original shape. It could be a circle down at the bottom. And then we'll do this without the pencil, right? So I don't cut the pencil this time. And I'll say follow me. And then I will just long press on that shape. And what happens is that shape then spins around that circle and I end up with a shape that looks like this because it took that shape and went around it. So if I was to take a shape that's not round, but maybe a hexagon like this, we'll do this one with the mouse. If I was to come in and select my hexagon, same thing now, follow me and then just click on this shape. What could I get in that, point, that case? So that geometry followed the six sides where this one followed the circle. So same command for all of these. All of these shapes were made by exactly the same command, but because the paths and the shapes that were picked for each were different, I ended up with some very different geometry. But this right here is why I think Follow Me is such a cool tool because you can create just very unique geometry with just a couple taps, clicks, touches, what have you. So I, I, I don't know, it's a fun one. I just like that command. It's just a cool one to go in and be able to just flick that stuff. Uh, if you don't use it or haven't used it, try it out. Uh, just play around with it in a, a sample model, but that's how you do it. That's how you use it. And uh, it's pretty cool, some of the geometry you can create. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week. You can be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please do leave us a comment down below. What do you think of Follow Me? How's your favorite way to use it? 
We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.